Okay, are we here? Can you see us? Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Um, so, this is our last day. Um, we just came from breakfast actually, so just want to kind of share, um, just want to review the hotels, um, just want to share what we liked, what we didn't like and um, who won this time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's start with uh, Balmoral. Yeah. Um, well, it's the only one that is a five-star hotel in, in, in Scotland, basically. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, we had, probably because of that, I had like very high expectations. Um, and if I'm completely sincere, um, I mean, the hotel is beautiful, the staff concierge, um, they are amazing, like they help a lot, but then we had um, a bit... <laughs> well, I was not that impressed as I expected I'm yeah. gonna be, if I'm completely sincere. Yeah. Um, I mean, the room was amazing, yeah. so the room was great. We, we were actually very blessed and lucky because uh, we had a room um, with a view on the castle and yeah. the monument which is like um, very privileged yeah. um, so in regards to that the room was fabulous so nothing wrong with the room um, it's just in regards to service so yeah. as Melly mentioned so the concierge they were amazing super helpful um, they usually are in hotels so I basically love concierge <laughs> I do like these yeah. guys are great and the knowledge they have and everything is just um, exceptional um, but the reception I must admit was not the best um, they were kind of not the nicest and um, also like they kind of were not properly organized so they didn't know really what's happening with the client so for example we were arranging something and um, the invoice was already given to me, but then when I uh, when we came to check out, yeah. the lady was not aware of that, and she printed out um, something else for me. So, uh, and then I had to be repeating myself. Okay, this has been dealt with. This has been done. So there's basically nothing for us to to mm -hmm. arrange with you guys anymore, but just to give you keys. Yeah. Um, so in regards to that, um, yeah. So the reception. They could do better, if I'm sincere. Um, the concierge, great. Um, the uh, restaurant, the Prince restaurant, that was good. Um, mm -hmm. For the food, excellent. So we enjoyed the steak we ordered. Um, yeah, also service. Service um, was great. Like uh, So yeah. the dinner we had that night, that was uh, amazing. So um, five stars for them. Yeah, um, Rachel's even, he was really funny. Yeah, he was excellent. Um, yeah. Very amazing, very supporting. Yeah, really um, and he helped us a lot after that horrible experience we had with that show. <laughs> um, uh, seriously, yeah. uh, sincerely. Um, exactly. But then the breakfast, this is another thing. Um, so the breakfast, it's another thing that we would like to talk about. So um, we definitely prefer the breakfast here in Astoria. Yeah, so um, good amazing venue so the venue itself it's wow it's just so beautiful like the the the, the, the space it's so huge the 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 colors the green and pink the the way they de decorated everything yeah. it's beautiful like the um, and there is so much light and yeah even. because there is a glass roof like it's open and um, um, you can see like it's amazing you can see the the um, the birds even flying yeah. you know above your head you can see the clouds everything and then you so, have music as well music it's, it's classical just, music yeah, playing so all peaceful. the time it's so peaceful relaxing yeah. and it's fabulous it's uh, the, the food it's a la carte so you just order what you have uh, what you want so you order what you want but um, it's a great a la carte so you have everything you have even the starter so if you want cheeses if you want fruit um, uh, you get everything so you have that starter kind of you get some uh, pastries 
and then you order the main, so you have all the classical egg, egg benedicts, royal um, scrambled eggs, all sorts of stuff. So and it's even drinks, you can order whatever you want. Um, yeah, really good service. Yeah, excellent um, service. And they were coming to us all the time asking, uh, do you need anything else? Like the lady for the drinks came at least three times. She yeah. was like, do you need anything else? Do you want anything else? And then eventually when we stood up already, the, the guy came and he was like, oh, do you want a coffee uh, to go? So we can do that as well. <laughs> so so just fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> Comparing to Balmoral, they have a la carte as well, but it's just the main uh, meals. And then they have like on the side... They have um, some cereals, some fruit, uh, fruit, some cheeses, meat. Like they have some kind of a selection, you know, for you to go and just take, uh, which I kind of find a bit weird because um, I don't know the selection was not that great and that huge, but it still made me stand up and actually go there. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I pref preferred here in Astoria when it was all a la carte. So if it's a la carte, then let me sit. Let yeah. me order anything so I don't need to go and be, you know, walking around and be taking stuff. Yeah. So definitely better here. Yeah, um, I just felt also in ba Balmoral that um, like they had fruits, but there was no um, really good option. Yeah, no, no selection, um, yeah. seriously. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, definitely better here and... Uh, and also yeah. service there was not that uh, great, so they didn't come like a couple of times, like asking us. Maybe they ask us one time, yeah. um, okay, is everything okay and so on, but uh, definitely uh, not on the level as here. So, yeah. um, what else? Um, In terms of rooms, here they have great rooms as well, so we got the king um, bed, yeah. probably deluxe room. I'm not completely sure, I just know they upgraded it. Um, it's, a, it's a huge room, so the room is uh, spacious, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big room basically. And you have everything you need, like you have, uh, the bathroom is great, the room is huge. Um, and also the way they, um, they presented, like the way it was like, they, you know, they really made us feel welcome here. They, they yeah. put a whole platter of chocolates, like <laughs> really cool. And everything was chocolate. Like there was something like looks like an apple and everything. So I thought, oh, this is just a decoration, but yeah. it ended up to be chocolate. So everything <laughs> on that plate was actually chocolate. Um, so I love that. So, I absolutely love that. That's, that's such an amazing way to, you know, um, to welcome, to welcome a, yeah, uh, a guest. So, yeah. um, Anything else? And also, yeah, we got uh, also a box of chocolate. Oh yeah, so that was addition, that was on the, the bed. bed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so much. Yeah, and also, for example, now, like, when I book this, um, I was offered straight away now at 12. What time is it? It's 11. Yeah. So now at 12, I actually have a, a tour, so the manager is gonna show me around um, the hotel, which is amazing, and that didn't really um, that was not offered to me, that was not offered to me in uh, Balmoral. Uh, we actually had to arrange ourselves, yeah. um, which we did, that was all okay. We managed to go and see the best suites and so on, and thanks to those guys. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it was more kind of doing it yourself um, than here, it was just very much everything offered to me. Um, and I absolutely love how we experienced like uh, uh, what happened to Melissa yesterday when she fainted and so on. Um, that's when we really experienced the service. Uh, we saw like that they know how to really um, deal with such situations as well. So we felt well supported and that's yeah. the most important thing. Um, so I don't know, I would conclude <laughs> for me personally, Astoria yeah. was better. Same. So yeah. yeah. Same. Um, that's my conclusion. Um, if I come back to Edinburgh, I will book this hotel. So I would stay yeah. in World of Astoria. Yeah. For sure. So this is my take out of, uh, for my point, two best hotels in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, also greatly located, both. Um, and yeah, this is my take out. I, if I come back, I'm going to be staying in World of Astoria. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, I think we just we didn't say about um, spa, 
how was the oh spa okay but yeah. spa it's, it's not really their fault so in yeah. ba Balmoral spa is uh, closed at the moment because they are renovating it yeah. So this is another minus until it's going to be reopened because then the spa was in another hotel so you need to walk uh, five minutes, a couple of minutes yeah. away <laughs> to another hotel and then um, they, they only have a pool. swimming pool so it's not even yeah. sauna or anything. Um, so yeah, that was a minus for me. Um, but this is, you know, this is because they are renovating it so apparently, I think she said they're going to open it back um, this year somewhere in May, June. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. That was a minus, definitely for me. Um, <laughs> Here's a <the> minus. <laughs> what was here? Oh yeah, they here here they have a great spa, but the minus was they didn't have water. So I still need to investigate that. Um, yeah. Just need to see if that was one time situation, or if that's something that <laughs> they tend to do because that's so yeah. wrong. And I I need to um, fill out the incident form, so I'm gonna write all of that down. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, still, no matter what, there were pluses, there were minuses in all of uh, all of the hotels, of course. But um, nevertheless, the Astoria one, yeah. basically, um, yeah, really good. yeah, they they were just better for me. And um, with everything like combined and all the plus and minuses and everything, I just because I appreciate great service that's the most important thing for me it's all about the service um, and that's what I expect it's it, everything is about great service and that's what I appreciate the most um, not even the facilities that much okay facilities yes but the top is the top on priority is the service so in terms of that um, there is no comparison service in World of Astoria was definitely better for me so yeah, thank you for listening, thank you for joining us. Um, you can try the hotels yourself and please uh, share your own opinions and view. Uh, we would love to hear from you. What do you think, which one is better um, and what experience you had in, um, in Danny Bryan, those two amazing hotels. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Until next time with the next hotels. <laughs>